Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Welcome back to Worth Guitars. I seem to have sprung a leak. Banged into something, my thumb won't stop bleeding. I'm sure you guys do that. Walking along, all of a sudden you look down, you got blood dripping down your arm, you're like, what the heck happened? So I'm over here trying to uh, staunch the flow, so to speak. Staunch the flow. So today, we're finally gonna glue the bridge on the 0028 for Philip Herter. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I had to make sure the bridge was right, you know, before I glued it down. We got that right. I'm pretty happy with the way it is now. I think I'm going to put on a glove just so I don't get any weird uh, DNA on this guitar in case it's uh, involved in a crime someday. I want them coming back to me. Hold on. Let me get a glove. Time for me to clean off the back desk again, the back, the back bench. Yeah, I'm still getting some, still getting a little, a little liquid out of that. Let's take that off. There you go. Put on a glove. We'll put a couple stitches in it later. All right, so, as you can see, I've got this clamp on there, and I've got this little rig on here that I made for clamping on bridges. One day I'm going to do the vacuum. I think that's the way to go, to hold the bridge down. I just haven't gotten there yet. I'm going to do that eventually. Uh, I'm into vacuum, as you know, if you've watched any videos. <laughs> I like to use the vacuum. Vacuum is a very, very efficient clamping system. And it's very clean, and it's somewhat safe for the instrument because there's not a lot of metal things that could possibly fall down on it. So, I've got these old clamps that I made long, long ago. I forget what these are called. I call them European style. The old wood clamp had some extra birch, some brass screws, piece of aluminum, and uh, the old cam clamps, you know? So that works perfect for this. It's exactly the right length to get to a bridge through a sound hole. So we got the bridge done. I've got this little fixture here that I made that we clamp down onto the crown of the bridge and then these two thumb screws can hold the two wings down because they're lower than the crown of the bridge, obviously. So that's what that's for. That's why it looks like that. And you see that okay? And I just got a piece of rawhide down there that I got from a craft store. And I usually put some tape on there anyway. And in this particular situation, I use an extra piece of rawhide across the crown with some tape on it to hold that in place. And then I have these two little guys here with more rawhide. Just a little eighth inch piece of plywood with rawhide glued down to it. Some leather, you know, this kind of stuff that you get from craft stores. You can do little patches and stuff with people that are into leather crafts, which I like. I used to like to do when I was a kid. Um, anyway, these go under here. These are your clamping calls to keep that thumb screw from damaging the wings on the bridge, right? Okay, that makes sense, doesn't it? They're a little tricky, though, because the this bridge, this kind of pyramid-style bridge, has got the points that come up on either side of the wings. Here and here. They got these little points that come up, right? So what I got to do is clamp down in the middle and then kind of stick these going up the ramps, so to speak, on either side and gently clamp that down. Don't take a lot of pressure. It's a nice clean joint. They're both flat surfaces. I don't have to hog down on it real hard. All I have to do is just make sure that it stays in place and has a little bit of pressure against it. I hold the two surfaces together and then the glue does the rest of the work, right? So we don't gotta get all crazy with it. But I will put a couple of pieces of sign maker's tape across there. I get this sign maker's tape from Stumac. It's very low tack. It'll stay in place and do what you need to do, but it doesn't, you know, leave much of a film. Sometimes if you leave it on there for a while, it leaves a little bit of a sticky film. Easy to clean up, though, with some naphtha. And as you can see, I have that all taped off. I have the headstock taped off. Got a clean towel sitting on my pad. Try to protect the finish as much as we can. And I'm even going to put one more piece right here where the clamp goes through just to be sure, and one piece right here. 
and we can get the clamp in and out. We can clamp down the bridge. And the next thing we have to do is put the tuning keys on. I have some very nice set of um, Grover tuning keys, uh, 18 to one. Is that what it is? One to 18? I forget what it is. I, for, I took the cardboard out of there. Now I can't remember what it was. But anyway, those are super nice tuners. Then we'll get the tuners on. we put some strings on this. Put the saddle in. Make sure the saddle's tuned properly. And we'll get some strings on it. We can hear what this thing sounds like, finally. Right? It's taken a long time to get it done, but I've you know, tried to take my time and do the best I could with it. The best I can with it. And I believe that it's going to be a very nice sounding instrument. So... Before we get to hear it though, we gotta get the bridge on. So after setting, after having said all of that, let's just glue the bridge down, all right? A lot of build up. I'm gonna need some glue, trusty little glue bottle. I like these little glue bottles. They're easy to refill or easy to use. You don't have this big thing hanging around you, all right? Got a nice little cap. And get the old glue out of there. We got that. I need a couple of paper towels with a little water on them. Trusty water bottle. Nice damp paper towel standing by for wiping off excess. Good old glue brush. I've had this brush for so many years, I can't even remember where it even came from. This thing's glued down a lot of stuff. All right, uh, what else? I think we're ready, let's do it. So what I've done is I've, you know, went ahead and drilled through, obviously the bridge got holes in it, right? For the string pegs. I went ahead and drilled through on one and six and that's my positioning that holds my position. So I can put the string pegs back in there like that. And that can't move around when I put pressure against it with glue on it. Because you know how things like to slide when you put pressure on them, they slide out of the way. And that's why those two notches are cut in that fixture right there. That fits over top of the two string pegs, right? That makes sense, right? Let me get those back out of there. So we'll use those for that. And once this sets up for 10 minutes or so, it's good to go. It ain't going anywhere after that. And we could go ahead actually at that point and take all the, I would, I would give it a half hour at the most probably. And you can take the clamps back off and clean up anything you can't get to. And you should have no issues there. As long as you don't put any pressure against that joint and let it dry well, it'll be good to go. We've already made sure that this is clean. Everything is good there. So let's get it done. I already cleaned the back of the bridge when you weren't looking. So let's put some glue on this thing and get it glued down. That's probably way more glue than I need. Nice even coat of glue on there. That this one there. Put my two pegs back in. Positioning pegs. Now there's glue in that hole that I just put these pegs in. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these back out now that I've pushed the glue down some and take the glue back off of the peg. I don't wanna take any chance of kinda of halfway gluing, although these are plastic. They still may get stuck. We don't want that. So I'm removing the excess glue off of those. Right? And that's cleaned that hole up for me. And I can put those back down in. All right, now that thing is locked in place. Now I'm going to take a couple more pieces of this sign maker's tape. Put it here where I'm going to be pushing those little blocks back up and here the way I'm not scratching the bridge we've already put all this work into it we don't want to scratch it and I'm going to put a piece right across here I'm going to push down on that some. Actually, before I put this tape on there, I'm going to I'm going to kind of pre-squeeze the glue. I'm going to pre-squeeze that a little, and go ahead and clean up some of that excess. Okay, now I was a little sloppy with the tape. The reason I pulled that back off, because I realized I got this tape hanging over, I can't clean it if I got a big chunk of tape hanging in the way. So I'm gonna put a smaller piece there. Something that isn't in my way around the other side there. And a smaller piece here. So you don't need a big honking piece of tape hanging out there. This is a little piece. And then one here, like this. Right. I'm going to put this little piece of rawhide on there. Tape that down so it doesn't slide. Like that. Now we're ready. Take this, put our cap back on the glue bottle. in there put a little bit of tension on it because I want to make sure I got it centered properly I can get to those thumb screws. All right. That's all the tension I need. Now I can already see the squeeze out starting again. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. Six inch rule. Right, now we can slide these little pieces under on the wings. 
One there and one here. pressure on that. That's what I want right there. Now they have pressure on them. I'll get this over there closer to you so you can see it. But let me clean the glue off first. See what I mean about that piece of tape? Don't need all that tape. It's in the way now. Okay, the bridge is glued down. It looks like this. All right, you see what I got going on there now, right? That's it. Okay, this is just a quick video today. Just wanted to, you know, you've been watching the whole build. If you've been watching the whole build, you surely would want to see the bridge get glued on, right? I would. I'd be like, hey, man, what about the part where the bridge gets glued down? So there it is. The bridge is glued down. We're going to let this dry. I'm not going to do anything else to this today. And we'll come back. We'll do another quick video of putting the tune keys on, putting the saddle in, and putting some strings on this baby. That'll be the next video that you see for the 0028 build. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it very much. It, may, it means a lot to me that you take the time to stop and watch the videos. I love the thumbs up. I love the comments. I've been getting some cool comments. Love to talk to you guys out there. So don't hesitate to if you know ask a question or give me you know your opinion on something. Or if you have a tip you can give me, by all means, please throw it out there because... I love learning. I love learning from everyone. Um, you know, that's how we get better at what we do. Listening to other people and watching what they do, right? At least that's how I do. All right, so do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's right down here. It's red, okay? Somewhere down there on the screen, I think. And drop a comment down below, and I will talk to you later. I hope everything's going well for you. Please be good to each other out there, and we'll see you out there somewhere. Peace. Worth guitars, y'all. Bye now.